This is one of the front lines in the fight against the coronavirus in Turkey. The first wave isn't over yet, but all countries are uh, preparing for a second wave in the autumn. So, of course, we will be expecting if this happens, then we have the capacity to serve all the patients. The intensive care unit at Cerah Pasha Hospital and the Faculty of Medicine now holds only seven patients. But even when the caseload was at its peak, the unit was never overwhelmed. That's partly because in Turkey, all patients are hospitalized as soon as they have symptoms. The doors of the hospitals are open to everybody. There is no limit. There is no, if you have any problem, any kind of suspicion, you can go to the hospital. It's the main step, I believe. Doctors also have more say over the treatments they administer. We are free of choice, but mainly the Ministry of Health of Turkey gave us the main guidelines. And there are different treatments at the moment, as you know. One, one of them is uh, hydroxychloroquine treatment. Uh, gave us a very good results. This hospital is now hoping to cash in on its coronavirus recovery rate by catering to more international patients and developing its medical tourism services with, for example, online consultations. I believe in the future most of our patient visits will be online. Just go in to the website, do the payment, you talk to your doctor, and that doctor is a professor, one of the well-known universities of Turkey. Turkey is one of the OECD countries that invested the most in its healthcare sectors these last few years, with an eye on foreign patients. Medical tourism brought in close to one and a half billion euros in 2018.